Okay, people. So here we have an introduction to how we recruit subject matter experts for the thermoelectric generator part of the CD Cajon. So the CD Cajon is loaded with ecological features, three kilowatts of PV power on the roof. But what do we do at night? So one way to gain the energy at night is through thermoelectric generation. If the stove is running, we can be co-generating electricity. And here we have the 100 watt thermoelectric generator unit that's on the pellet burner stove. Now, um, there's prior art to that. How do we do it? We can reinvent the wheel or we can go to the Inter International Thermoelectric Society. There's a number of people on its board who are typically professors and other probably companies. There's also sponsors, all these thermoelectric generator companies. A lot of people there. You can look up all these people or look up thermoelectric generator papers. So the International Thermoelectric Society website is a good place to start searching through. Now, once we get there, we go to the wiki and document. We contact these people. We ask them, hey, people, <clears throat> can we have your help to help us open source the thermoelectric generator? The first, first one, so I wrote a sample letter here. It's in a document. Basically, could you or is there anyone in your team that can advise us on the thermoelectric generator mod module system on a volunteer basis? We are requesting a one hour conference call to discu discuss our proposed design, etc. So that's a sample letter. We contact all these people and see who we can get to help. Now the next step is review. So the, the latest working design is as follows here. It's a sandwich of of tubes uh, heated by the hydronic stove. There's a hot water tube which provides the heat to the thermoelectric generator modules, but you have to cool on the other side, so we're going to have cold water tubes on the other side, sandwiching the sandwiches bolted together with a plate. And essentially, it's a 100 watt system, it's 30 inches long, 2 by 6 inch square tubes such that you have six rows of 17 modules for a total of 102 watts. Now these modules, if the thermal difference between the hot and cold size is 60 degrees which is easily accessible say between going between 20, 25 and 85 degrees Celsius then you've got that gradient and these these cells that cost a dollar fifty off Alibaba or eBay Dollar fifty a pop. You're talking about one hundred fifty dollars in thermoelectric generator modules, and then the balance of system is we're talking about a two hundred fifty dollar budget for this for this thermoelectric generator unit of a hundred watts, which of course is about ten times less, about ten times less, or um, probably more like five times less, five to ten times less than any other commercial system. So that's the basic idea. We want to review: is this going to work? Suggestions for the specific type of tag module to use. There's ones that are off eBay that are readily available, um, such as these ones right here. If you click on this, these these types of things. A little, basically, a little sandwich uh, with two wires coming off it. It's a little thing, uh, but you find this all over on eBay. It's called the SP1848, which is what we're looking at produces one watt at a 60 degree gradient, it produces three watts at a 100 degree gradient. For simple water, a 100 degree gradient would be difficult to get, so we're just going for a 60 degree gradient up, up front here and trying for this very simple design. So that's the basic definition of the problem statement. The, the goal is to find subject matter experts from the International Thermoelectric Society, get people on our team to start advising. And if, if some of these people want to rise up to the, to the plate, then they could become not just informal advisors who we can ask questions, but possibly dedicated advisors who continue developing the open source thermoelectric generator with us. Okay, thank you. Talk soon.